my goodness. Good morning. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I am Pastor Marianne Kellenbach, pastor at Living Faith Church, which is located in the community, beautiful master plan community called Tradition in the city of Port St. Lucie in the state of Florida. And today is Monday, November the 25th in the year 2024. Four. I'm ready to like jump a year ahead, but it is 2024, and I welcome you to our faith and fitness time together. We will begin with our faith part, that is our devotion, and our devotion this morning comes from Jesus Always by Sarah Young. So I want you to close your eyes and imagine that this is Jesus whispering into your ear. I created you in my image with the amazing capacity to communicate with me. As my image bearer, that's what you are, you are capable of choosing the focus of your mind. Many of your thoughts come and go unbidden, but you can control them more than you realize. The Holy Spirit inspired Paul to write, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, think about such things. I wouldn't instruct you to think in this way unless it was possible for you to do so. Because the world contains both good and evil, you can choose to focus on excellent, praiseworthy things or on terrible, upsetting matters. Sometimes you have to deal with the brokenness around you. But each day offers moments when you are free to ponder pure, lovely things. When your mind is idle, it often moves toward a negative focus, regretting things in the past, worrying about the future. Meanwhile, I am with you in the present, waiting for you to recall my presence. Train yourself to turn toward me frequently. This brightens even your hardest times increasing your joy. I invite you to open your eyes at this time. The mind and the body can separate. Our mind wanders off. And we actually say that, right? My mind's wandering. Or we may say, I'm not here. You know, I'm either in the past, you know, refocusing maybe on an argument we had with somebody, maybe even recalling wonderful times. Or I'm in the future, you know, worrying about what is to come, anticipating, planning, how am I going to react to things? Whereas our mind really needs to be present right here. So how do we get that mind-body connection? Keeping in mind your mind, your heart, your soul, how do you get that back together again? There's a very easy technique to connect your mind and your body back together again. And that is through breath. We're going to practice that right now. Because sometimes even while I'm talking, I certainly know that it happens to me when someone else is talking, my mind is off somewhere else. So right now we're going to reconnect our mind with our body. And we're going to do that through breathing. So I want you to take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Focus on just that act. Again, in through your nose and out through your mouth. And then the third time as you breathe in, I want you to picture where you're feeling the sensation of the air coming into your body and what does it feel like? Is it cool? Is it warm? Is it the back of your throat? Is it the beginning of your, your nostrils? So breathe in again through the nose. And then out through your mouth. And that centers us. And that reconnects our mind and our body back together again to be in the present moment. It's really easy in these times of the not knowing what's going to happen next in a world that feels like it's in an upheaval. In having such deep connections through 
social media and knowing what's going on in every single person's life. It's real easy to get caught up into the future or to focus on any regrets we may have had in the past. And when that happens, take time to breathe, to center yourself and to be in the moment. What we do know is God is present in the past. God is present in the now. And God is already there in the future. But what we experience is the now. Because this is all we have. Sorry, I'm going to remove the word all. This is what we have. Because we don't know what the next second is going to bring. And boy, is a congregation right now who is reeling and hurting from the death of a beloved, beloved member that was so shocking to each and every one of us, we can grasp hold of. What we have is now. So on this day, let us stay focused. And when our mind begins to wander, just do that breathing exercise because it will bring you back to the moment. And when you're wondering where God is in the midst of all this thing, all this thing, all these things, but yeah, this thing called life, I want you in your breathing to remember, where is God? Right there in the breath of life that you take. So when you breathe in, recognize that you're breathing life, that same breath that was breathed into you at your birth. Let us pray. Good and gracious Lord God, on this day, we know in our mind that you are with us all the time. But we so easily get caught up in the what if this happens, what if that happens. Help ground us in the present moment. We have been created in your image. And we do have the ability to control our mind only with your help. We can't do it by ourselves. So help ground us in this present moment. As we hear your birds softly chirping, as we feel the breeze ever so slightly, and as we feel your sun shining, upon us and giving us the warmth and the one that says, I know you, I see you, feel me all around you. We give you thanks for this moment that you have given us and this time where we can be together and be filled with joy in seeing your presence in the other and knowing that others see your presence in us. Let us pray. Good and gracious Lord God, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And yeah, this is the second prayer. Because we so need to be reminded of your presence. Easy to forget about you in times of joy and think it's joy that we brought about, but we know it's you. It's easy to forget about you also when times are rough. Help us to stay grounded in your presence in every second of every moment of the life that you breathe into us. You will call us home at one point. For now, gracious Lord God, we live with the presence of your life in us. Help us. Help us, gracious Lord God, to live in the moment and to let others see your light shining through us. We pray this in your son Jesus' name. Amen. And now we pray those words that our Lord Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right. Now go 
Do whatever movement you're able to do on this day and feel alive and present in this very moment, this very second that our Lord has given us. And we'll see you next week. Blessings. Blessings.